Who doesn't love the beach? It can be a place where you find a little bit of peace and solitude, maybe listen to the sound of the ocean. You can do uh, set up a beach volleyball net with some friends in this case, or you can just stumble on a scientific oddity. Tiny blue jellies are coming ashore by the hundreds along California's coast. Our Jose Martinez digs into this mystery. I'm here in Ocean Beach where these blue jellies, you can see them over here, and they're kind of weird looking, are popping up all over this area. But what exactly are they? That's the question. Interesting, all of these, wow. Dave been surfing at Ocean Beach for nearly two decades, so you might think he's seen it all when it comes to marine life, but this week he spotted something new and weird. And I was surfing and I was in the water and I just happened to notice a bunch of these. I hope, uh, you know, figure out what it is, what they, where they're coming from and why, because uh, I haven't seen them before. These bluish blobs are known as by the wind sailors or velella velella. If you want to get scientific about it, we actually did. So we went to Chrissy Petrosky at the California Academy of Sciences to explain what they are and what they're doing here. They are not jellyfish, but they are relatives of jellyfish. And they've been washing ashore along the California coast by the hundreds, from Point Reyes all the way down to Orange County. But why? So these guys live out in the open ocean for most of their, their life cycle, and um, they are at the mercy of the oceans. They have tiny sails on their bodies, which they, they use to move around and migrate um, by the wind. And um, when the winds are blowing on shore, like in the spring and early summer, we see a lot of them washing ashore. Chrissy says the blue coloring comes from the food they eat and helps camouflage them in the water. But the ones you find on the beach might not be so vibrant. When they wash ashore, they tend to lose that blue color and they just dry out. And sometimes um, animals will come and eat them. They'll be eaten by birds and, and other, um, and become part of the local ecosystem. As for humans, Greasy says there's really nothing to worry about, but you should avoid touching them or letting your ducks get too close. Dave says he won't touch, but he certainly will look. I just saw a headline and I didn't look any farther, but I will now. 